President Obama convinced the American people he is in control of the situation during tonight's address. For more on selling his message, we are joined by branding expert Rob Frankel and for the Main Street Perspective, Joe Jones, Newswire's columnist, Al Lewis. So, Rob, as Neil just mentioned, five minutes, not a lot of time, five, 15 minutes. Uh, he's he's got to focus on one thought alone, maybe a bumper sticker. What should that bumper sticker message be? Um, if it were me, it's I'm not the professorial intellectual guy you think I am. I'm actually a roll up the sleeves. I'm really Rahm Emanuel in disguise. That's what it really should be. That's what the American people really need to see. They, if Obama has one weakness, he's too intellectual. He needs to take him to the mat. And quite honestly, I think he needs to delegate it. I don't think he's got the credibility to pull that message off. Well, let me just let, back up a little bit here. Do you think that what he did today and yesterday where he sat, he walked on the beach, he sat, he was talking to business owners. We took the tape as soon as it was available to us where, you know, he was using every business owner's name there. These are small businessmen in Gulfport, Mississippi. Uh, and he was, he was rolling up his sleeves. He was there. Does that give him points? Um, it, it, what it does is it gives him, you know, photo op points. It's, it's a good photo op. It's a good visual. It lets people know that he's there. But it's the right message, but it's the wrong messenger. What American people really want to hear is, and you, you're starting to see, they're tired of all the talk. They don't want to talk. They want to see action. Obama, and actually a president, should really be above that. You don't want Obama slipping into Jimmy Carter mode where he does everything, including changing the light bulbs. And Al, I think that Rob is on to something. This, this sort of aloof uh, quality that, that Obama's character has, maybe it comes from all of his experience in, in uh, the academic arena, but he does seem a little out of touch. How does he drill the message home that he is in touch and that he will be able to take care of this bill? Boy, that's a good question, Dave. You know, you want to talk about branding. I think we've done a great disservice by calling this the oil spill as if that's past tense. It is the oil spilling. This is an out of control situation, and anybody who takes charge of it is going to appear as though they are out of control. Well, too. Is that, let, me, let me just BP ask Al, is that, is that Obama looks out of control. Is, Al, is that specifically why he has been kind of hands off? Because he didn't want to get his hands dirty. Well, I wouldn't want to get my hands in this. I wouldn't want to say I'm the one charged with capping this. I mean, so far, the best thing we can say is, oh, maybe in August we'll have a well come down and, and relieve it a little bit. But what if that doesn't work? What if this thing just spills and spills and spills until the natural pressure finally wears off in, you know, 2015 or something like that? I mean, we really don't know. I mean, what the president really needs to convey is this is a very uncertain situation. I'm not the cause of it. I'm doing everything I can to mm -hmm, cap mm -hmm. the well. Everything go. that we're talking about doesn't make any sense at all unless that well is capped and you know what my focus is on capping the well we can do everything else later we're capping the well and here's how we're going to do it i well, mean if he can't say that rob, then it's all rhetoric yesterday rob uh, the president uh, gave a quick speech and and we took that live as well and dana perino who's not exactly in the friendly president camp was very impressed with what he said and she said there he goes he finally outlined here's what we're doing today here's what we're doing tomorrow here's what we expect to accomplish uh, personally as as a person who really cares about the environment i would love to hear him say guess what we're getting rid of the jones act for now which prevents any tanker that doesn't fly the American flag from coming into the Gulf. We're, we're suspending that for the moment, bring in every single vehicle, almost like the Dunkirk evacuation, where they took fishing boats, they took anything to get the British soldiers out during World War II. Just bring in every vehicle, start scooping up the oil from the surface of the water. I bet you he would get a lot of points for that, Rob. See, and I'm, I'm telling you that, that he won't, because here's what he's really doing. If he goes down that tempting and obvious road, but if he does that, what he's really doing is laying the groundwork for more government failure. That's the problem. What, the, what people have to realize is that this is an industry solution problem. The government's not equipped to solve this problem. They're just not. And the public knows that. So to pretend that he can do that is a problem. And actually, watch, as this goes down the road, now you're going to get all of those anti-Obama people saying, there he goes again. He's promising stuff that he can't deliver, and that's going to sink him even further, which undermines his credibility and even future issues. What he should be doing is he should be saying, and I do admire the fact that he's finally moving away from the strategic into the tactical, but what he should be doing is going tactical without okay. the government stepping in. Rob Frankel, it's a tough balancing act between, you know, rolling up your sleeve and, and staying away at the same time. Rob Frankel, Al Lewis, thank you, Jeff.